All right, bro. So we back here once again, man. This time we're here to give you guys an album review for this new young boy in the baby project entitled Better Than You. So look, bro. This project pretty much, uh, this shit kind of came out of nowhere for me. Um, yeah, and it had a lot of controversy surrounding it too, you know what I'm saying? You know, with, with all the other shit going on. But yeah, bro, we're back here to give y'all a review, man. And yeah, just to start off with this album, um, I like it for what it is. Let me get that Wait, shit you out say of the way you don't right like now. it? But at the same... Huh? You say you don't like it? No, I do like oh. it. No, I do like this album. I just... No, damn, you ain't let me steam. No, damn. <laughs> Fuck, what was I finna say? You like it for what it is. So, let me start off by... Let me start off by saying, I like this album for what it is. But at the same time, I feel like this... I don't know, I feel like this mixtape sort of turned into a young boy featuring the baby after a while. That makes sense. Um, Some tracks on here, I felt like... um. I don't know. It's just I don't know. I like Young Boy mostly on this project. It's the baby on here that's kind of like hit or miss for the most part, and I think it's more so like with the baby using like auto tune and shit. Uh, I like the baby. I don't know his auto tune voice. He should be hit or miss for me, and that's kind of like how it was with that with that uh that last project. That's the one that had like Rockstar and all that stuff, which I I like the singles and stuff. But yeah, just like him when he does that, be hit or miss. And at some points, I don't know. I kind of felt like he was kind of sounding like Young Boy too. Like I I don't know. Am I tripping right now? <laughs> uh, nah, actually, he kind of took the words right out of my mouth. I was definitely about to say that though. Uh, oh, okay, cause okay, yeah, this, okay. This sounds like a, a young boy featuring the baby project for me, like sound wise and production wise. I think that's where it was for me, like production wise. This definitely kind of lean more towards young boy style versus the baby style, and the baby just kind of blended in with young boy as far as like he kind of came into his world versus them two actually like trade in worlds in a sense, cause just like. The song Jump, the collab they did earlier for the Baby album, which was in 2020, I think. Uh, that sounded like a Baby beat, and Young Boy came on and featured on that. So I feel like if they would have mixed it up with a little bit of that style versus the style that they chose for this project, it would have sounded a little bit more of a collaborative effort, but it didn't really sound like that. It sounded like a, a yeah, like you said, like a Young Boy featuring the Baby project. So <laughs> that's that's kind of what I got from this. <laughs> The cover screen, the baby, and the music screen, young boy, and I think that's probably more so due to the fact that young boy is on house arrest, and I think I saw it. Was time, I saw an interview with the baby. He was saying like he basically had to go to Utah, Utah, where young boy was at, <laughs> <laughs> and he couldn't go to his house because you know he's on strict house arrest or some shit like that, and he just got an Airbnb like an hour away from him. And they just kind of like sent songs back and forth. So I feel like Young Boy was doing a lot of the music making. He was just sending the baby his song. And the baby was just like, fuck it. We're going to roll with it. Type shit. And yeah. He definitely had a, a, a couple Young Boy young boy flows on this joint for sure. For sure. I ain't really too mad at the auto-tune. Because, I mean, he does that on all his projects. Like, auto-tunes his voice and stuff. Like, like you said, with the Rockstar song and stuff like that. Like, he done, he done, done this before. It's just this type of production he hasn't done it on and that kind of what gives me the uh the young boy feel with this joint is a production like the young boy sounded perfect he sounded right at home he sounded comfortable yeah. this is his his world the baby on the other hand i think that's probably why i was like hit or miss for you i thought the baby was cool on um, majority of the tracks for real for real except for maybe syracuse in the sense of, <laughs> kind of like, I, I, I don't know, bro. I just feel like if I'm the baby and you send me that song, I'm just kind of like, nigga, what? But, hey, he the baby, bro. He cool. He gonna do what you ask him to. So, shit, he gonna give you what you ask for. So, he did that. He rapped. So he does wait. <laughs> why you, why you fucking oh laugh? <laughs> bro, that, that song, bro. That song. That, that, listen, man. That started a whole war between Playboy Cardi fans and the baby. I mean, young boy fans. If you don't know what we're talking about, oh my god, go listen to the song Syracuse. But yeah, man. Overall, I thought the project was decent. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't really think too highly of it. I, I wasn't expecting it like you was, and I don't know. I didn't. 
I don't know. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't really care for it like that. Like I didn't. Like I'm saying. Like if they decided not to release this, I wouldn't care. <laughs> like that's that's kind of how I feel. Hey man, hey. It, they like. Oh, I'm I just look, saying. I, like, I, 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 I ain't mad at it or nothing like, like that. I'm just saying they decided not to put this out. I wouldn't care neither. So it's kind of like you know it's here. Okay. But then, but but then at the same time they ain't really promoted either so they kind of I ain't gonna say it feel like a throwaway album but I think it kind of like they just released this shit kind of like they just dropped it for shits and goos yeah in a sense and I, <laughs> I also but no no for real for real I feel like they also dropped it to make a statement so it's kind of like uh, the baby he's kind of like an industry villain in this. I ain't gonna, ah, you know what I'm saying? These niggas are industry villains. Like, like the baby's kind of an industry villain, you know, kind of, he's still going through his whole quote unquote cancel phase right now. And then, of course, young boy and his situation with, you know, Dirk and them right now. It's kind of like, this is an industry civil war. Like, right now, the industry is going through a civil war. For those of you who don't know or, or not paying attention, yes, like the, the, the trap. Gangsta street shit of hip hop right now is going through a civil war. Niggas are forced to be, are forced to choose sides, and the baby chose young boy side right now. It's kind of like Black Panther, fucking teaming up I with Captain say, America. I ain't even gonna say he chose. I- I, I ain't even gonna say he chose size, bro. And, and, this is, this but is no, that's what I'm with, saying. I mean, like, this is why I fought with the baby, bro. No, he, 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 no, he did saying, though. I'm saying, though. The thing about it, he had to. He, he, like a lot of niggas. Like okay, so. Think about the young boy song, and I really don't want to go go and go into the whole, you know, Dirk and him well, beat, but I well, I, well, no, I'm saying think about it. I'm looking at it as far as like with the Tory Lane situation, Ooh. how Megan was trying to come at him about that whole situation. He was just like, "Fuck it, I'm trying get money, goddamn, get money." And he literally said that. You know what? In the post, he said it's like in the IG post, and he was saying like, "Y'all niggas in y'all feelings or something, so get money, this, this, and this." Like you think this you think this trying, was, yeah. was for money? You really think this was for money, my nigga? Like it's the baby, bro. I don't think he needed to make an album with Young Boy for money. Come on. I don't think I don't think so either. But then at the same time, him and Young Boy actually him and Young Boy actually fuck with each other like that. Right. He fuck with he, he do like fuck he, with Young Boy. So but th- I'm saying like even going back to the Tory Lane situation, he he was one of the first people to kind of like you know what I'm saying. Still fuck with Tory even after this whole Megan situation. So it's kind of like the baby kind of been known for, mm-hmm. for for picking the the underdog side in a sense, which is you know what I'm saying he he quote unquote if you want to call that being a real nigga that's the he's he's a real nigga he's a real friend you know what I'm saying like if he fuck with you he fuck with you fuck what you got going on in your personal life or fuck what you got going on in your uh you know what I'm saying rapper life whatever like you know what I'm saying he here for the music and that's. Something I can. Re- side, I was gonna say. I was gonna say. Side note. Speaking of loving the underdogs, I bet if Young Boy went on house arrest, I bet he would have been hanging around Kanye. Or Kanye would have been trying to get around him. But that'd be funny as shit. Kanye and Young Boy do a song together. That what? <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm side Yo, note. Yo, just... put in the comment section if y'all want to see Young Boy and the baby. I mean, you know, Young Boy and Kanye. Young Boy and Kanye. Young Boy and Kanye. But yeah, so I just think like this right here was to, to make a statement for real, for real. Like nigga, he don't he don't give a shit about none of that. He just gonna make music with you if he fuck with you. So, and then you know, what I'm saying young boy, you know, young boy need a friend right now. So I'm kind of kind of glad that they still cool and they they came together to do some music. Like the baby had an interview where he he came out to young boy. You know what I'm saying? He came to him. He didn't just trade songs back and forth. You know, from wherever he from from wherever he's at. He came to Utah. He got an Airbnb, and they basically just sent songs back and forth in the same vicinity of each other. They just couldn't go around each other for legal reasons. But yeah, man, I thought the project was cool. I ain't mind it. You know what I'm saying? I thought, but like you said, it, it definitely is. This is more of a young boy project than a the baby project. Yep. And that's that's really all to it. He got a soap sock. I got a shank. I was like, what the fuck? Nigga, deliver it to your dough like pizza, nigga. <laughs> the fuck? Nigga, said deliver it to your dough like pizza, nigga. The fuck? <laughs> yeah. Cut. Cut. Just cut. Just cut. <laughs>